Gamers and game that's what is going on. My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another Terra console video. In today's video I'm just going to be giving you guys a short guide on how to change your control scheme. Now for the most part this isn't necessarily changing your controls per se, you're just more so moving around things and stuff like that on your hot bar and stuff but I figured you know this would help a lot of people out because I noticed one thing that is a that can be a bit uncomfortable in this game now if you're used to playing Neverwinter this probably doesn't bother you and that's the fact of holding L1 and X to jump now like I said if you're used to Neverwinter on PS4 Xbox one that probably isn't a thing to you it's probably honestly your comfort zone but for people who aren't used to that pushing good old X just to jump like I'm doing here that probably feels a lot more natural especially since Terra seems to favor more of an action RPG style than that whole um, tab target combat kind of style. So I want to um, just, you know, give you guys a, a quick tutorial on how you can do that and, you know, just make, make things as easy for yourself as, as possible. Now, a lot of people, you know, you're going you're gonna to assume that, you know, you come over here to button mapping and all that stuff. No, that's just going to show you what your um what your controls are what you actually want to do here is you want to come over to you want to come over to your skills and you guys are going to see you have your active skills which are you know your characters attacks moves and things like that um the passive the passive skills which are you know your characters passive abilities you have your special skills which are you know just your normal functions in game things like your greetings jumping interacting talking to npcs the button to lock on stuff like that all these can be moved now you're going to notice, right, when you um when you try to rearrange them at first glance, the it's going to tell you you cannot remove this certain thing. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys an example here. Say I want to take jump, right? Say your jump is still stuck on L1 and X, which is going to be the second column up here at the top where the L1 plus the X button would be. So say I want I want to put jump I want to I want to take jump and move it down here to this column. Well, instead of trying to replace one of your one of your permanent moves like these ones that are this bright green teal color, the auto run for example, the the group tray, the social options and stuff like that. It doesn't let you move those by default. So what you have to do is you actually have to take it and replace it with one of your regular regular attacks or something that the game doesn't view as priority like for example how I have the X button as my jump this used to be just one of my one of my characters basic attacks so I'm going to take his attack and put it somewhere else so that way I can use the X button to jump like for example as you guys can see when I click interact it won't let me put the jump button there but if I take the jump and put it over here on triangle where my attack is as you guys can see it'll let me swap that out but as you can see, if I try and put that attack back to where the jump is, it won't let me do that because jump is a prioritized function in the game. So if I want to swap these two, all I have to do is take my jump, go back, take my jump, add a try to add the shortcut again, and just put it right here. And then I can replace and put my move back to where it was. So you would want to do that same thing if you know we're up in a we're up in a, in a different area so I'll, I'll give you guys an example and I'll purposely just um just move things around so you guys can see so we'll take interact here for example we're gonna grab interact and um, stick it down here and we're gonna go ahead and put my little fist attack up there at the top now as you guys can see I want interact to go back up there to L1 to L1 and X now if I try to take interact and move it it's not going to let me do anything with interact at all because it's a prioritized function in the game so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to back out I'm going to take interact and actually select it and I'm going to replace something that isn't prioritized in the game with interact so that way interact gets that gets the spot where I want it to be and my attack just replaces that current position so basically what you're doing here is you just want to make sure that you're taking one of the games prior priority functions which are these ones right here and replacing it 
with something that's not a priority. And as long as you're overlapping those two, the game will let you swap them out. I know that sounds a bit confusing or anything like that. So, for example, say, you know, I have, I want jump on triangle, but I want heart thrust on circle. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to go take um, jump and cover heart thrust and cover that with heart thrust. Then take heart thrust and move that to where I want to afterwards because the game is naturally going to prioritize its basic functions to make you to make them to make sure those work in the game which are jump interact dial lock on pets stuff like that things that you know the game wants to make sh wants to make sure that it's set to make sure these things work properly but anyway guys this guide helped you smash that thumbs up button for me if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments below and i will thank you all so much for watching it's your boy tenek127 and please don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video till next time peace out take care so